Hi there. In this video, we're going to step through the brochure building process or brochure updating process as the case may be. And so how you're going to get to it is you're going to go to manage properties and then from the drop down, choose the property you want to work on. I'm going to choose this one here and it doesn't matter if it's an active or inactive property or um, green or red for that matter, as long as there are photos for it, of course. And so you want to scroll down in the syndication, publishing and print options and select the brochure um, tab. And then there's a number of brochure options available to you. Depending upon your account, you may see some additional templates if you're with a brokerage that has customized uh, templates available to you. But these are the standard templates that are here. And so these are inside of these templates, there's a lot of customization options. I'm gonna choose this fourth one here just to show you. And depending upon the one you choose, uh, some of these have been around for a long time. So there's different options that may be in place that are not all exactly the same, but they're all fairly similar in that you just, you need to choose the photos and where you want them to go. And then any of the uh, text that accompanies that. And, and then sometimes some additional options like a QR code for some of the existing ones. So in the drop down area here, you're going to see that you're able to choose the main photo, photo two, three, four, and five. So this brochure has five photos. And so if you don't want this one to be the main photo, you simply come in here and say, I want this one to be the main photo. So easy enough to change. And then you can come here and say, I want this photo to be the second one. And so you just make those selections and changes. If you want to change the description, you can do that here. The brochure headline, uh, call for private showing. You can put in you know, a phone number, um, change the color scheme, bright red, dark purple. I'll change it to a bright blue just to show you a difference and then price, QR code, and MLS ID. All those are options available to you. Um, QR, QR codes, um, some people still use them, so I'll change that back to yes. Click Save, and so your brochure is being built, and it takes a couple seconds for us to build that, moving all the different pieces into place. And once that's done, it's gonna create a PDF that is something that you can download, and I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, you click on Save, and it's gonna save it to your computer locally, most likely, depending on your computer system to wherever your downloads go. Um, but now I can open that up. It's a PDF, like I said, and you can see we chose the blue um, background. And so you're able to now take that and send that to your printer or to maybe the UPS store or any other printer you might want to work with to get that created. So that's one of the brochure options. And just to complete on this, I'll show you another one, a two pager that we have added, and that's template number five. And you'll see that this one gives you a little bit more customization in terms of being able to crop the photos and have them uh, fit into the brochure exactly the way you want them to. And so if I come back over here to the main photo and again say I want to choose this one instead, I now have this cursor and the crop image screen pops up in this cursor. As I scroll you know, hold my mouse down um, and then scroll across, I can't get it wrong. So um, this, the aspect ratio is what we're talking about here. It's, it's going to be perfect for the brochure selection. So now I just move that where I want it. It gives you the ability to create exactly the image you want. And it's going to update that cropped image over here. If you don't select the crop and you just choose the photos, then we're going to crop what we think we need. And, and we, I just always recommend that people do crop it so it fits perfectly. Once you're done, again, You've got options available to you here. You can customize as much as you want here. And again, just click on save. And that is, again, all you have to do. Click on getting the brochure. It downloads, open it up, and now you've got your custom two-page brochure. And again, able to send it off to your printer or to a local printer for printing. So that is how it works. The other options are very similar in terms of how to build them. Let us know if you have any questions at support at listingsmagic.com. Thanks for watching.